Hello, my YouTube family. If you are a complete beginner when it comes to squatting or you want to improve on your squats, then this video is for you because I'm going to show you a friendly beginner guide to how to squat before you pop a barbell on your back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ella and I am a certified fitness coach. I have gone from someone that is an absolute beginner, not knowing how to squat with terrible form and technique to now being able to confidently pop a barbell on my back and squat like a boss and I'm here to share all of this with you a friendly beginner guide so that you eventually pop a barbell on your back so let's um, jump straight into the content Barbell back squats are such an amazing exercise to not only build strength, it's a functional exercise and also for gains. When it comes to performing a barbell back squat, just know that it is a skill to master. No one will come into the gym and know exactly how to perform a barbell back squat. You're watching this video because eventually you want to be able to pop a barbell on your back. We need to know and understand the basics and the foundations. First, we want to make sure that you are able to know how to breathe and brace. That is a skill that we need to learn. Second of all, we need to practice having a good range of motion. Are we able to reach depth in a squat? Are we able to have good ankle, knee and hip mobility when we perform the squat? And also understanding the squat movement pattern is incredibly important. And I could tell you that when I started, I wasn't able to do a barbell back squat. So I'm going to show you some friendly exercises that could help you eventually pop a barbell on your back. Let's jump straight into the first one. In order to get better at a barbell back squat, I would suggest the first exercise is to do a goblet squat. So when you do a goblet squat, we're holding the barbell right in front of us as opposed to the back. Because remember, when we do a barbell back squat, it is a skill that we need to learn. If you've just started, a great exercise is to do the a goblet squat. This way you are practicing, it is a lighter load, so you are practicing the squat movement pattern. When it comes to the squat movement pattern, it is breaking at the hips and breaking at the knees. So this is a goblet squat. We are able to go lighter. And again, we wanna practice good form and good technique. So coming down into a squat, and just practicing this movement pattern. We wanna make sure that your chest is upright at all times, your hips and your knees are parallel to the floor and driving up. When it comes to the goblet squats, it's not just beginner friendly. Even I perform goblet squats every now and then because it is such a great exercise to work on the squat movement pattern. Sometimes we want to take a break from, for me, is to take a break from the heavy lifting and performing goblet squats is such a killer for your quads and glutes. Moving on to the next beginner friendly exercise. Just popping on some weights for the hack squat machine. Oh, a lower body exercise. <sighs> the next beginner friendly exercise before we pop a barbell on your back is to do a hack squat machine or even a leg press. Going to put your body in a fixed position. So you've got the support from the pads and it's going to help you with the squat movement pattern. This is an excellent way to build strength in your muscles and practice the squat movement pattern. Start off with the no weights first, and as you progress, you're able to put more weights on. So the main difference between doing a fixed machine and free weights with the barbell back squat, it involves a lot more core. You're in a fixed position, you're a lot more stable, and you're able to really hit and target your working muscles, which is going to be your quads and your glutes in a fixed position. A lot of people look at fixed machines 
and they get intimidated when they see these machines. It is safe because if you fall down or if you fail a rep, you're not going to crumble in any way because you're on a fixed machine. Do not be afraid to go heavy if you are able to do it. This is such a great way to challenge yourself and to go heavier and to ultimately build strength as well as muscle. So we are gonna get straight into it. When you do the hack squat, setting yourself up, you wanna make sure that your entire back is on the plate. We never want to lift up. That is not the way to go. You want to pull your ribs down, keep your back on the pad the entire time. So when you come in and then position your feet like you would in a squat position, you could have it slightly outwards. There's no right or wrong way to have your feet stance position, whatever is most comfortable for you. Taking your time, keeping your core engaged, making sure the back is never lifted off the pad. It is glued. Coming down in that squat position. So here we are practicing the squat movement pattern here, pushing through your feet up. Again, core control, coming down, we want to make sure that we're coming down in a controlled manner and then pushing up. So that is the hack squat machine. We've got the goblet squats, we've got the hack squat machine. So these are beginner friendly exercise before we pop a barbell on your back. The next beginner friendly exercise, if you wanna improve on your squat depth, then we wanna improve on the mobility at your ankle and your hip joint. And one of the best ways to do that is to be doing a front foot elevated split squat. The reason why it is an elevation is because we wanna be able to reach that range of motion. So I'm just gonna perform this with the single leg here. You wanna make sure that your hips are facing forward the entire time. When we do this exercise, we wanna make sure that you're pushing forward and you wanna have good hip mobility here. The reason why it is elevated is so that we could reach that depth and open up your hips here. This is such an excellent exercise to do before we perform my squat, because one, we are working at the ankle mobility and we are working at the hip mobility. Single leg, so we're gonna do one side and then the other side. We are able to get that range of motion at the ankle and at the hip joint, making sure that we are maintaining that upright torso. You could do this with body weight. You could hold onto a dumbbell right in front of you or dumbbells to the side of you because when you actually do barbell back squat, you could imagine that we wanna have that upright torso. When we do a squat, we're working on two sides. But when we're working on this exercise, make it a non-negotiable. Do this exercise, it is going to help so much in working on mobility as well as single leg so that you could do a barbell back squat. I am on the hip thrust machine here. Another great way to prep yourself before doing a barbell back squat is Yes, we wanna make sure that we are having optimal squat movement pattern, which is what we have been doing when we were doing the goblet squats and the hack squat machine, because we're practicing the squat movement pattern. Another great way is to build strength is by isolating the muscle groups that you are working towards. When it comes to squatting, we wanna be strong in our glutes and our quads. So isolating each muscle group through fixed machines. So here we're doing hip thrust where we want to get strong in our glutes, focusing on isolating each muscle groups to help you eventually be able to perform a barbell back squat. We're really isolating the glutes, strong squeeze at the top in the peak position. We want to also make sure that your ribs are down, your chin is tucked in and you're squeezing at the glutes at the top. This way, it is going to isolate your glutes and it is such a great way to build freaking strong glutes. Not build, 
gain gain, gain booty gains, which is what we all want. Again, this isn't a fixed position. We want to isolate the glutes. Another exercise that you could do is leg extensions to strengthen your quads. When you strengthen your quads and you strengthen your glutes, you are able to not only build strength, get gains, but be able to squat with a barbell back squat because that is going to, obviously you're able to load more on top of that. So yeah, isolating each muscle group. So I suggest that you do these four different variations of exercises. So you've got your goblet squats, your fixed machines, either on the leg press or the hack squat machine. And then you're working on isolating, on strengthening each muscle group. So the quads, the glutes, perform, do these exercises for at least four to six weeks, provided that you are consistent because you will get strong and build confidence before you pop a barbell on your back. You could take longer if you need to. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I get back to every single comment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I just wanna let you know that your mind is your most powerful asset and that you could achieve anything you put your mind to. I am sending you so much love and I will see you in the next one. Bye.